Hello and welcome or welcome back to the AGF Design Studio channel. My name is Alana. I'm a freelance lettering artist and designer. And in today's video, we are going to be talking all about installing custom fonts into Procreate 5.2. I'm going to be sharing with you some of my favorite places to find fonts. And I'm going to be sharing a trick with you that I like to use to get alternate glyphs to show up in Procreate. Ready? Let's jump in. While it can be nice to use default fonts in Procreate, it's so nice to be able to use custom fonts that maybe you've created yourself or maybe that you've purchased on a third-party website. So the first method we're going to be using is to open our Files app. Let's take a look. So within your Files app, you have a bunch of different location tabs. The one that we're going to be focusing on right now is the On My iPad tab. So on this tab, we're gonna be zeroing in on that Procreate folder, then tapping our Fonts folder. Any fonts that you want to install into Procreate automatically, dropping them into this folder. My iCloud drive has all of my files synced between my computer and my iPad. So I can take fonts from my computer and drop them in here. Let's say that I want to install this Mogan regular. So I'm gonna to navigate to that font file, tapping and holding. I'm gonna hit copy, then I'm gonna navigate back to my Procreate folder here and then tap and hold and hit paste. So now that Mogan regular OTF file is saved into my fonts folder. So let's pop over back to Procreate and see if it's there. So I'm gonna go over to my actions tab and hit add text. I can scroll through my font list and I can see that that Mogan font is right there and it's nicely installed into Procreate. Another way that we can install fonts into Procreate is by highlighting our text, opening up that submenu again, and selecting Import Font. This will pop us into our Files app. So you can go through your Fonts folder and select whatever fonts you'd like to install. just like that. Another way that you can do this is by using AirDrop on your Mac. So I've got my Mogan regular font file highlighted and I've got my AirDrop menu open to the side. And instantly on my iPad, it'll respond to the AirDrop request and ask me which program I'd like to open this in. I'm gonna hit Procreate, it'll import, and just like that, the font automatically updates and changes. I'm just going to slide up and create a nice split screen view. So now I've got my text and my Procreate open on one side. I've got my Files app with my Fonts folder open on the other side. I can just take this file and drag it into Procreate and my font will update automatically. One feature of OTF or open type files is that you can get really nice alternate glyphs and styles embedded into the font information, but this kind of information is not accessible natively through the Procreate app but I will show you a quick workaround that you can use to access those alternate glyphs. For this, we're going to use a program called Font Cloud by Creative Fabrica. The link for this site will be in the description box below. It's free up to two gigabytes of storage for your font files. So as you can see, I already have my Mogan regular font imported here, but I'll show you how you can quickly import more fonts. Just scroll to the bottom here and select Browse and you can select Choose Files. And any other fonts that you want to install, you can just tap them and they'll show up automatically. So using this Mogan regular as an example, you will see a full selection of all of the characters that are available. There's a lot of great ligatures, swashes, and just really great different characters that simply aren't accessible through the keyboard functions on Procreate. So, this is our workaround. 
what we're going to do is we're going to open a split screen view again and open up Procreate. So now I've got my text open on one side and I've got font cloud on the other side. This T is just standard, regular, but this one is really, really expressive, has really cool swashes. Just give it a tap once. Highlight whatever character you're trying to replace and hit paste. So we're going to do this again. Select that H and paste it. So now we have these really cool alternate characters that we get access to by using this little workaround. This Mogan regular font is one of my favorite fonts that I've recently purchased, and I'll be linking it in the description box below. But I'll also show you quickly a few places that I really like to look for fonts. These are some great places to look. So I Love Typography is a great place to look for fonts. As you can see, it's just so beautiful and you are immediately hit with all these great options. But what I really love about this particular website is their search feature. So this search feature gives you a really great way to define the different kinds of font features that you might be looking for. Break it down really well. You also, you also have a price range slider. You can go through the different categories. So maybe you're looking for a script font and you want it to be Latin. And then all these really great options will pop up. There is also creativemarket.com. They have a really great font section. And as you can see, they have them nicely categorized. And yeah, you just get really beautiful options to choose from with really accessible price points. I really, really enjoy this website as well. I also think that it's really important that whenever possible, we purchase our fonts directly from the Type Foundries so that all of the resources that we have can go directly to the people who created these fonts for us. So one of my favorite Type Foundries, Ono oh Type Co. They have a whole collection of them for you to browse through. They also have a really great book about creating your first font and how to draw letters for typefaces, which I think is really awesome and really helpful, which I will link in the description box below. All right, that's it for me, guys. Make sure you give this video a like, leave me a comment below with any questions, or let me know what your favorite font is. And if you're not a part of the community, subscribe. I post weekly videos all about lettering, digital art, my life as a freelancer, and more. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.